Hey guys, it's Sanem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here and you're watching me for the first time. Doesn't my skin look absolutely flawless? I mean, I am incredibly shocked at how my skin is looking like right now. So today, as you can tell by the title, we are gonna be testing the brand new, not really brand new, we'll get into it a little bit in the video, the MAC Studio Fix Tech Cream to Powder Foundation. They just released this, they just launched it, and today I'm gonna to be testing it out for you, doing a review and a demo of this foundation. So if you guys wanna know a little bit more about it and see everything on this foundation, then please keep on watching. So this is the brand new MAC Studio Fix Tech Cream to Powder Foundation. Now I know technically this isn't new because this foundation has been an OG foundation for years and years and years. It did get discontinued for a while and now it is back reformulated. So we're gonna be testing to see is it like a completely new cream foundation or is it pretty much the same? So this is how it comes now. It comes in silver packaging, which before previously it was in black packaging. And yeah, it's just Studio Fix Tech now, which before it was just called the Studio Tech Foundation. So right there, really, really nice packaging. However, I do prefer the black, I feel like. And you just have a little button right there. It does come with a sponge as well, which I'm not gonna use. And it does come with foil to keep it sealed. So I'm just going to open it. Ooh. Okay, this looks really dark. This is NC15, the one I picked up. So this is NC15, which is looking quite dark. And I've always used NC15, NC20 on my skin and it's never looked like this. It's actually looked lighter, so I'm a little bit worried already, but let's just dive straight into it. Before we jump into that, I'm gonna prep my skin with a little bit of primer and this is the MAC Natural Radiance Primer in Radiant Yellow. And I'm just gonna put this all over my skin just to prep it because my skin is dry and I just need a little bit of moisture and something for the foundation to just glide onto. So I'm just gonna read you some claims about the foundation because that is what we need to know about when we're testing it out. So this foundation claims that it is 12 hour wear. It is also oil free. It has a medium to buildable coverage. It's light diffusing and gives a soft appearance to the skin. It's also very lightweight and moisturizing and creamy. And a few other things as well is that it is crease resistant, non-caking. It's for all skin types and it also has a natural matte finish. This foundation also retails for 30 pounds in the UK and $36 in the US. I'm gonna apply it with one of the best brushes for cream products or liquids. I also use it for my liquid foundations, but this is like hands down the best for Studio Tech. And this is the MAC 170 slant kind of kabuki brush. This is very, very compact and synthetic as well. It's just gonna go on perfectly with creams and liquids. So it feels really creamy right off the bat. And let's just pray NC15 is not too dark. Okay, so it does have a scent. Typical like Studio Fix scent. Oh, wow. Coverage. Look at that coverage. Oh my God, it gives me a glow. Which is interesting because they claim it to be a natural matte finish. Let's see if it dries down. But so far, like I'm seeing a lot of radiance unless it's the primer. But even with that primer, I haven't had that with other foundations. They do say it does have a light diffusing effect. So I wonder if that's kind of like that peeking through. And also it is a very creamy, creamy formula. I'm almost liking this better than the original Studio Fix Tech. I do feel like they've really upped the creaminess, creaminess of it. And I also feel like it, definitely feels less cakey whereas the other one as much as i loved it it was a little bit more on the fuller thicker creamier side if you guys have used to do a text the original one you you will know what i'm talking about it wasn't super super lightweight but this one is just like blending and melting into the skin it feels lightweight and it gives incredible coverage you can of course go in with more you can really get full coverage out of this foundation I am absolutely loving this. So this is also for all skin types and I will say it's working amazingly on dry skin. It's not clinging to any patches. It's just melting in almost like just a moisturizer into the skin. I would not recommend using a sponge with a product like this. It just does not work. So make sure you use a brush, something really compact like this to really just work it into the skin. And look at that. 
incredible coverage, incredible smooth finish. It looks very flawless. I'm just really impressed by this radiance it's giving me. I love that it's not really matte. It's just, again, a soft looking foundation, very smooth. I am absolutely loving this foundation right off the bat, but I will say there are a few things that I have to kind of complain about. And the number one thing is being the shade. I can see that NC15, this one, it's almost a lot darker than the normal traditional NC15. I almost feel like you may have to go a pinch lighter. So I know they have NC13 now. Now I feel like with this foundation, I should have gone NC13. I honestly didn't think it was gonna be dark. Dark. So as you can see, it is dark and that's really weird. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, the shade is a little off. I wouldn't say it's true to Studio Fix Fluid. I would say definitely this is a lot darker. You can see like that is dark for NC15. So just for reference, this is my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC20 and this is NC15. This is supposed to be way lighter than this. Can you believe that this is actually darker and it's still light? So you can see right there, NC15, NC20. And another thing that I don't like as well is that it feels a little bit kind of sticky. It definitely feels um, tacky. You definitely have to set it with powder. It feels lightweight, but it also still feels sticky, if that makes sense. So it doesn't feel super, super heavy, but it's tacky, it's sticky, and you, you just need to set it with powder and finish off the rest of your makeup. I wouldn't, you know, walk out the house just like this. So that so far is the two things that I'm not loving about the foundation, but everything else, as I mentioned, I'm loving in terms of the way it looks mainly. Like my skin just looks even, full coverage, medium to full coverage, and it's just giving me a beautiful, smooth looking, flawless finish. I love it. I just love this little radiance right here as well. So I'm going to build it up a tiny bit on the nose area because there's a little bit of redness here. Another thing I don't agree with, agree with their claim, is that they say it's a cream to powder, but when you actually touch your skin, it has not dried down whatsoever to a powder finish. It just feels very creamy sticky and the whole cream to powder i'm not sure what that's about and i've had this on for at least more than five minutes now um, and it has not dried down to a powder so but let me know what you guys think of how it looks i think it looks absolutely flawless so what i am going to do is finish off the rest of my makeup and see how the product's actually going to sit on top of this foundation if it will look cakey feel heavy anything like that if anything changes so i am going to go in with the estee lauder stay in place flawless concealer this is in the shade 1w light and as you can see this is a liquid concealer so i want to see how a liquid will go on top of a foundation a cream foundation like this and i absolutely love this concealer it's one of my favorite favorite high-end concealers it just gives you a really, really nice radiant but lightweight feel under the eyes. And it has decent coverage, not super full, but it's just really nice for every day. So I'm gonna go into the ColourPop Translucent No Filter Translucent Powder just to set, and I'm gonna use a tiny bit of powder just underneath the eyes. I'm gonna have a feel at the foundation again one more time to see if it's settled down to a powder finish or if it's still creamy. Yeah, that's like sticky and creamy. If you go like this, you can literally see the foundation coming off. So, I mean, with concealer and powder, I only put the powder right here. My skin is looking incredible. Incredible. Um, again, not loving the shade, but everything else just looks really, really, really nice. You can get a really beautiful, flawless finish out of this foundation. Another thing I want to mention as well is that it claims it doesn't settle into any fine lines and creases, and it definitely doesn't, especially this area right here. I am so impressed because foundation always seems to seep into those smile lines, even sometimes right here and then underneath my eyes. It literally gives you that soft appearance like they said. So I'm loving that as well. I think if you do struggle with foundations, maybe seeping into any fine lines, definitely give this one a go because it almost just blurs over it. It doesn't actually go into those lines. I'm gonna finish off the look with the MAC lipstick in the shade Blankety which is such a pretty soft nude pink. And this is an amplified cream. I love putting 
blanket tee with tones like this. So do let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to know what you guys think of the new Studio Fix Tech Foundation. If you're gonna be picking one up, if you love the original, if you're gonna give this one a go, let me know everything down below. And of course, I'm not gonna repeat myself because I did mention it in the video, but there are a few things that I love about it and a few things that I don't. Of course, number one being the shade. I do think NC15 is almost looking like an NC25. I'm not happy about that at all. So I will say with this foundation, you do need to go a shade lighter. Now, I don't know if it's in just NC15 that's coming up dark, but I do feel like with this foundation, they are gonna run a little bit darker. So I will say, well, not a little bit, much darker. So I will say definitely go a shade lighter. So for example, if you're on NC30, go NC25. If you're NC40, go NC37, something like that. Again, apart from the shade and it not drying down to a powder, I absolutely love everything else, super flawless. If you're someone who's not really a fan of Borka, coverage foundations you won't like this one but if you are someone who just loves having that flawless glam kind of foundation look um, then you will absolutely love this. Don't be scared and afraid as well that it is a cream foundation because it, it's not drying, it's not thick, it doesn't feel heavy. It's just a super thin, lightweight, creamy foundation that just melts into the skin. I mean, you guys saw how it went on. So yes, definitely give it a go if you want to and you like how it looks. As usual, I will leave links down below for you guys to check it out as well. But if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified of my new videos and I hope everyone is staying safe. So until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.